Hi there. Now for this question, we're given a geometric sequence and told that the first term then was 42 and the common ratio was 6 sevenths. And we've got to find the smallest value of n for which the sum is greater than 290. And this is quite a common question. For this question, it turns out that the smallest value of n is 28. So it's important to be familiar with this particular type of method. So all we do is just use the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. You should be familiar with this formula that it's a times all of 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. You might have a different version where we multiply top and bottom by minus 1 and that will give us a times r to the power n minus 1 all over r minus 1. You could still use that formula but it's easier to use this version when the common ratio is less than 1 as it is. It's 6 sevenths. So I'll leave it up to you to experiment. Anyway, using this particular formula, substituting 6 sevenths in for r and our first term a is 42, we get this equation then, or inequality I should say. And then all I've done is do 1 minus 6 sevenths, which is 1 seventh, and 42 divided by 1 seventh is 294. Next I've divided both sides by 294 and that gives me this value here. OK, 0.9863 and so on. And at this point, all I've done is I've added 6 sevenths to the power n to both sides. That's taken it over to the right hand side and subtracted 0.9863 and so on from both sides. And that's given me this value here, 0.0136 and so on. Then I've decided to Turn this around, OK? So just take care on your inequality there. Next, all I've done is I've taken logs to both sides. I've taken logs in base 10. It's up to you. You can take logs in any base you like, as long as it's the same base on each side. You should still find you get exactly the same answer. So taking logs to both sides, then using the power rule here, the log of all of this, 6 sevenths power n, means that we can bring the n out the front of the log. OK, so I'm assuming you're familiar with that rule. n times the log of 6 sevenths is less than the log of the other side. OK, 0.0136 and so on. Now, it's at this point you have to be very careful. And that's why I've highlighted this inequality in red. Because remember, if you divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number in an inequality to both sides, do make sure you reverse the inequality. Now, the log of 6 sevenths doesn't look like a negative number, but as I've mentioned before in many tutorials, if you take the log of a number less than 1, okay, then it's a negative value. You can check it out on your calculator as well, okay? You'll find it's a negative number. So do take care on that point. When you divide by this value, you're dividing by a negative number. So you need to switch the inequality round. Okay, so that brings us to this line here. And then if you do this calculation on your calculator, you'll find you get n is greater than 27.87 and so on. Now we're looking for the smallest integer and remember, it has to be a positive value. Um, we're looking at a number of terms. And so the smallest whole number, integer if you like, greater than this value has to be 28. And that gives us our answer. Okay.